Joining me now this morning is one of the authors that you'll find published through absolutely amazing ebooks. Leah Benner has been very busy since the last time she was on the show. She's recently released the second book in her popular Kate Brown series. She's also released the book entitled The Diary of a Mad First Maid. Now this tells all about her experience selling everything with her significant other, sailing out to sea, and having an unforgettable adventure. Leah, thank you so much for being on again. Thank you for having me. All right, Leah, this sounds pretty crazy what you decided <laughs> to do. You set out to sea, sold everything, and you were gone for seven months? Yes, actually, um, once we crossed the Atlantic, it was seven months. Um, we did some cruising before that within the United States, which you would think would have given us some good experience for, for the um, cross it. Atlantic voyage um, to the Bahamas and, and onward, but not really, <laughs> not really at all. Uh, we read all the books about what to expect, um, and we still were not prepared at all for what for the experience we were going to have. We yeah. ran aground, we ran out of gas, we had we ran I ran over our dinghy and put a big <laughs> hole in it. Oh, no. um, sunk the motor on the dinghy. I could just go on and on and on. Anything that could go wrong went wrong. <laughs> and you, But you did live to tell about it, Lee. I right? lived to tell about <laughs> it, um, and so did our marriage. So. I was going to say, the, the marriage <laughs> has survived, and you both have survived. So, Leah, you decided to share all of the experiences that you and your significant other had on this trip in the book, The Diary of a First Mate. Yes. And yes, um, what happened was um, I had a satellite phone, so mm -hmm. while we were cruising, I started writing just a, a, a journal of everything that we did. Um, and I was emailing it to all of my um, friends and um, friends of friends. It became very popular with everyone, and everyone kept saying, you should write a book, you should write a book. So, well, okay. <laughs> so you did. So I did. <laughs> so I did, but um, that was... It was um, a, an experience that um, I'll never forget it. I'll yeah. never forget it. it. It was crazy. I'm not going to say I want to do it again, <laughs> but I, I think that I found strength in myself that I never knew I had. Yeah, yeah, you and in our relationship too. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, if you guys can go through that, then your relationship can go through anything, that's right? That's true. <laughs> Even hanging wallpaper. There, that's right. <laughs> you can make a trip out to sea and hanging wallpaper. Yes. Hey, you're set. You're good. <laughs> you're good to go. And it was good fodder for future books too, mm -hmm. because in the second Kate Brown book. Um, she's in the Bahamas. Okay. So. And that is the latest book that you have released. Leah, tell us a little bit about it. It is called What Secrets They Hold. And Kate Brown um, is a seventh going into eighth grader. This is the second in a series called Kate Brown Journals. And Kate Brown is a young poet. And she goes to a poetry camp in the Bahamas for a week. Mm -hmm. So while she's there, she and her... Um, two of her roommates decide to do a little investigating of a, a, one of the instructors there that they think is acting really strange. So they, they pre play private eye. Mm -hmm. And she has experiences where like a run-in with a shark and she's um, knocked off the dock by a snotty Sophia Pendleton <laughs> and she meets this guy that she just thinks is sizzling hot. <laughs> and um, But in the end it is um, her her poetry, one of her poems that helps her solve the mystery. Okay. Just like in the first book, it's her, um, one of her poems helps her solve her problem. Mm -hmm. Now, how many books are you going to have in the Kate Brown series, Leah? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I really <laughs> don't know. I'm working on the third one right now. Mm -hmm. I'm only about 30 pages in, and it's not coming quite as easily as the other two did. Um, in What Secrets They Hold, the one I just, um, that was just published, I knew the beginning and I knew the end, so mm -hmm. it was pretty easy just to sit down and write a middle that went with it. Right. But in this one, I have the beginning, but I haven't figured out the end yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so well, it will come to you. I know I'm sure it will. It will. To you. Now, Leah, you've, you've done a lot of books all at once. I mean, you had the first two in the Kate Brown series, now The Diary of a Mad First Mate, so you said you're working on the third book. Like, is this writing thing? It's got to come pretty easy, though, to you to be able to get all these books knocked out. 
Well, the first book I wrote several years ago. Mm -hmm. And the mm -hmm. second book I wrote maybe one year ago. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just working on another. Working it, seems, on it. it seems fast because the publication of them came quickly, <laughs> came all at once. Yeah. But the actual writing um, took place and the editing and the re-editing and the talking to my writing group about it and reading it to them and all that. Mm -hmm. took uh, several years. Okay. Well, it would be a great summer read. Both of the books would be for people. And I really look forward to reading The Diary of a First Mate because you're, you're very adventurous to go on a seven-month trip like that. <laughs> so maybe, maybe some of your adventurousness will rub off on me when I'm reading the book as well. Well, if, I, if um, someone had asked me when I was your age that I, if I would ever do that, I mm -hmm. probably would have said, no way. Mm -hmm. But... Um, I, I don't know why I did it. <laughs> a couple years later, hey, you were talked into it and you did it, and, and now you have a great book. That it was my husband's dream, it. and I went along with it, but I'm glad I did. Mm -hmm. Well, you're very supportive then. So, Leah, thank you for being back on. And if you want more information on Leah and any of her books, just check out absolutelyamazingebooks.com. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages. Please stay with me. <laughs> 